Glass, I think, is on a comeback. I don't think it's ever going to be factories again, but it could be. I know someone has got a little glass factory, and they're selling the hell out of these candle holders, and they're hiring. So maybe if factories are coming back. Nowadays, I try to come up with something that I think is going to be cool. Like, I'll think of a chandelier, and I'll want to do something. And I can actually go towards that. When I was teaching myself how to blow the glass, half the time it came out as a paperweight because it would, it would just it would screw up. We're the athletes of the art world. When you start a piece, it may take you 45 minutes to finish it. You're in action the whole time. You have to finish the piece from the beginning to the end. Put it in the kiln, hope it didn't crack, and check it out tomorrow. I kind of like it being a learning studio. I have always liked the atmosphere with many artists in a room where like everyone's got a project going. You can feel it in the air. It's, it's a good energy. And that's what I like. I think people come in here and there's those people that immediately want to do it. And those that are like, no way, I'm not touching that hot stuff. But those people that see that it's safe, they want to do it. People come in and I think they're not enjoying it. They take the class and then when they leave, they're like, oh my God, that was amazing. I'm like, wow, because when I'm doing it, I feel like they're not having a good time. But I think it's like, it takes all of their concentration because it's, it's scary and, and the coolest thing they've ever done, you know? And I've had people tell me that it's the coolest thing they've ever done. It's so beautiful, that glowing hot glass that it's, it is amazing stuff. equipment. I made a lot of uh, equipment out of bed frame angle iron and parts of the bridge that they tore down downtown. The front of my furnace is flanked by two of the I-beams. Bubble Project is really growing because we're going to be doing, hopefully we'll be doing a lot of new things. We opened up a brand new building, you know, a big huge metal shop.
I was homeless. So a year ago, I came in here and asked Mike um, to help me out. And that's how I got involved with Mike to begin with. A year ago today, he taught me how to make my first wind chime. And I started coming in every day, you know, showing him I wanted to be here, showing him that this is what I enjoyed. I mean, it, it takes a lot of stress off your life coming in here and, you know, doing a project here, a project there. We're trying to focus on the learning experience of glass blowing, but it's also a chance to spend time with your family. So when you come here and you blow glass, you know, put the cell phone away for an hour and a half, you know, and come and enjoy each other. And in the long run, you get something beautiful at the end. And now we have Morty 2.0. Morty 2. We already have the t-shirt, so we just kept the name for the second rooster. <laughs> It's been great because people come in to see him more than me. 